Good morning, ladies. Oh, let me just pull you out a little bit. Is that better? Yes. Good morning. I'm here to continue part two of the mini album tutorial that I'm doing for the Trinket Parlour over on Facebook. Before I start, I just want to say that the Alice kit is still available. So, um, and that's the MDF pieces that I'm using. So if you, if you want to buy them, you need to go over and join the Trinket Parlour on Facebook. So now, I did start part two yesterday, but the camera was so bright, it was like it had the flash on and I didn't know how to turn it off. And uh, the video was orange. You couldn't see what I was doing, blah, blah, blah. So there's bits that you will now have missed, but I'm going to go over them. Okay. We ended up where I went off looking for magnets. A day later, all day yesterday, it took me to find those. So they're on my ruler now. They're not going anywhere without my permission. So I found my magnets. Um, got these from the trinket parlour. I'm sure she still stocks them. She might may have to order them in. So uh, yeah, magnets have arrived after a day of looking for them. So what I did that you have missed. We've done the pocket, so we're all right there. We can put that to one side were these flaps, okay? So I, this is the back page, this is the front page. So the paper that we used here from the 12 by 12 pack, you need to get that out. My video looks a bit orange again. Let me turn my night light off, that's better. So you want this pack, uh, sorry, this paper out of the Alice 8x8 pack. And also from that pack, you want this picture. It's always tea time. We're all mad here. Okay. And then you want to cut that down to fit your... So that's seven and a quarter long. Uh, by five and a half, seven and a quarter, yeah, by five and a half, okay. Now, before you stick them down, this is your top flap. So this paper is going on the top, okay? So stick that down, make sure your writing is the right way up. Which one I stuck down? Sorry, ignore that. That's going on there anyway, so you can stick that down. Okay, stick that down. That's our top cover. Now with the bottom one, Yeah, so that's the top cover for that. With the bottom one, you want to put it on so that the flaps are on the bottom, okay? Because that's what you'll be attaching to your page. You're gonna fold over on that score line and make a nice little pocket there. All right, and that's this bit here, you add, glue to the inside and we're going to stick it to the paper so you need to add this paper on with the flaps down that's the bottom with this this is the top so all you want to do is make sure it's nicely lined up with your border the right way up ladies okay so then I cut for the inside of this page when it opens in the book it's going to flap down so when you want to I cut this um, teapot and teacup and keys paper again from the eight by eight pack. And that's going to sit on there 
This is the bottom piece, but we have flipped it over so that the paper, you are looking at the paper the right way and not upside down. Okay, so remember that, ladies, when you're gluing. So um, did I cut the paper for the top? And then this is the back page from uh, the 8x8 pack, okay? So, so uh, are they the same size? Yeah, they're all the same size. So that will sit in there like that, okay? And that will flip up. So let's glue those in now. This is the top flap, okay? Oh, better get me wet wipes handy. I'm down to about a quarter of a pot of glue now, so. So you can use tape. In fact, what I might do, no, I'm just gonna use the glue. I'm not, you can put tape all around the edge, up the middle, and then two bits either side and pop them down, okay? Or one bit, whatever. Or you can glue it like I'm going to. So you wanna go all around the edges, close to the edges you can get without going over like I just did. So sorry for the weight, right, ladies. I know I said I'll be uh, making part two available last night, but I just couldn't find my magnets. So this is the top flat with our um, decorative edge at the bottom. You're gonna center this between the inner score line, okay? And your, so, and your bottom edge. Make sure you've got it in even gap all the way around that looks about even from here from my angle okay and put that one down then you're going to flip it over so your flaps are on the bottom i'm going to put this down here like that okay not that it matters because it's it's just dots, so it won't, won't even notice. Oh, did I do that on the last page? Oh, well. So the same thing, you're gonna line it up with your decorative edge and your inner score line. So always try and do the top bit first. Make sure I'm not near the score line. If you need to manoeuvre a little bit, then do so. So that's our top flap done, okay? Remember, that's at the top. So we're going to do the same for our bottom piece. I've already glued my bit in, so if you haven't done so already, glue your um, front page on, remembering your flap is at the bottom, ladies. And then when you put this on, if it's patterned, if you're using the same as me, remember your page is gonna flip down, so you need to put your paper on this way, okay, with the flaps at the top. You'll get it, you'll get the hang. I'm sure you know how to hang paper. Hang paper. <laughs> you know what I mean, don't you? So, I'm trying to rush. I've deleted some stuff off my phone and uploaded stuff and to empty my phone, hoping that the video will last a bit longer. Okay, so what you want to do is line this up with the bottom, making sure you're not anywhere near that inner score mark. And then lay that down like that. Okay. 
Oh, do you know what? After all that, I forgot my magnets. What am I like? After all that. Oh, sorry, ladies. Before you glue this down, and before you glue that down, really, do you know what? I'll think of another way to close that. We won't use magnets on that, because... Oh, sorry. All day yesterday I spent. But we will find another way, all right? So now what we're going to do is attach this to our main page. So when you're doing the top one, you need to open it up so your flaps, your inside is showing, okay? And you want to put your glue on this part. Not on this part is your pocket that gives you a pocket. So it's the bottom part that you need to glue. Don't go over the score mark. You can see that? And then we're going to add it to our page. Actually, it might be easier to do the bottom one. Again, it's the same thing. You want your flap at the top this time and you're going to do the outermost score mark without going over the score. So put glue on your flat hinge, if that's what you want to call it. That might be a better name. Okay. And then what you want to do is make a pocket at the bottom. You want to get this centered as best as you can and just drop that down like that make sure your pockets okay And your pocket will sit like that okay so now when we put the top one on once we put our glue on we'll be able to line it up with the bottom one okay so again add your glue on your uh, outside flap that should have had a magnet in it but hey So again, bring it up. Remember, you want to get it actually my best. Like that. Push it down. Okay. And put your papers without going over your school line. that bit of glue off there nice to come down a little bit and that one and just make sure you are lined up with the bottom like that okay and once you are push it down so that is our inside cover done for now i will add more and decoration and tags and photo mats to go in the pocket at the end depending on what i've got left i might, might make some additional flaps and things like that but for now thinking on what paper i've got i need to uh, leave that as that okay now before we stick it in just put that off to the side for a minute 
so you can see it. Now, I want some paper for the other side. That's a cut out there, cut out. I'm just thinking of how many papers I've got and what I can use because I've got more pages than I originally planned for so but we'll get around it don't worry so we've got that image one two three four so we've got that one. yeah okay I know what I'm doing I know what I'm doing ladies so let's have a look at this page we want something that's going to coordinate so from your Alice pack, what should we have? What should we have? I think maybe this page. I don't plan my mini albums like some people do. I've changed my mind. Right, okay. So take these two pieces out of your scrap. They're both from the 12 by 12 album. So all the bits and pieces that you laid off to the side. You want those two. Okay. And then what you also want is some more cardstock. Now. You should have an off cut like that like we did for the pocket on the inner page so that's 10 inches by four and a half inches okay so we want another one of those Sorry, I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking how to do it. What if we did that? No. I'm going to save that for a pocket. Ignore me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, let's get another image out. I've got to get another packet of paper if I have to. Right, what haven't we used? Now, I think... As we've got that on the back of the inside cover, a uh, flat, I think I'm going to use this for my um, page number two. So I can't remember what I cut it at. So it's uh, nine and a half by seven and a half. Okay, so let's put that out the way where it's not going to get squashed. paper trimmer so we want nine and a half across by seven and a half so let me just do the seven and a half first oh that's just going to nip my lid off my teapot so I'm going to take this bottom or some of the board off about ooh, an eighth, okay. I'm gonna turn it back the other way and cut it 
at seven and a half. I did say seven and a half, didn't I? Yes. Is it seven and a half? Come here. Is. Sorry, I couldn't remember if I allowed for the border, but no, seven and a half ladies across there so that you're not cutting the lid off your teapot. So just take an eight and eighth of an inch, put that in your spares, and now we want to cut at nine and a half. Okay, so that's just gonna. Hmm. I'm just going to try and get on as much as the. So where you want to cut right where the T is for there was a table set without cutting the T off. OK, so there. And then I want it nine and a half. Oh, I'll get the drink me in, but I won't get the eat me in, but. There, okay. So that's our base page. Keep all your bits and pieces. Now, for this, what I'm going to do is, for what I want so from the 8 by 8 pack you want the teapot cutouts all right now you can use any ones you want I'm going to use these two in the middle I think so you want to cut those out, so go down first, and I am going to back them onto some cardstock, so you want to cut right to the beginning and get that white border off. So these are the two I want, keep this in your pile of bits and pieces, and you're just going to cut off the white okay and from the bottom and this one you don't want those you can throw those bits away I want some cardstock. Oh, I'll drop paper on the floor. So, from your scrappy bits, don't cut another piece. Let's see if they are going to fit on there. So grab a, well just grab a piece that your uh, little bits are going to sit on nicely. Okay, so I'm going to glue them on first and cut them with my cutter because I'm hopeless at 
Mind you, they've got a nice back to them, haven't they? Um, no, I want them bordered. So, add your glue. Put your first one on, give yourself a nice even border, like that. Cut him out, again same sort of border. So there's your first card, okay? And you want to do exactly the same for the second one, which ended up cut. So add your glue. Come on glue, don't give up on me yet. You don't have to do this, ladies, but for what I'm going to do, I suggest you do. Just have to lose the back, I'm afraid. Do the same thing, cut that out. Okay, put your scrappy bits back in your pack and there you have your two teapots so what I want to do is overlap them slightly like that and glue where the overlap is you see that just put some glue along there and along there. Okay, so basic like that. And then what we're going to do, which bit should we hide? this bit here so we keep the we're going to put them in this corner you can have a slight overhang but not too much and then we're going to use that as a pocket to put some more pockets in so all we want to do is glue along the bottom and oh, about a quarter of the way up on now say halfway up on what will be the right hand side. So say about there, all along the bottom. Oh, so he was going mad then. Okay, and then lay that down. As I said, you can have an overhang, but a very slight one. Okay, and put those down. And again, we'll put our flowers and things like that on the back. Okay, so now I'm going to put my glue lid on. Leave it on its side so I'm not waiting forever. We are going to put our pages in our book. All right. So I'll get my book out. And it's a nice hiding place. So... We want to open up. This page is going here. Now, so that you can see the edge of your page, 
put a piece of paper under your first page so that you can oh sorry i didn't realize i'd knocked the video i've been looking at my bin <laughs> sorry okay right so we're going to put that oh and that looks a bit long so take a quarter of an inch off sorry i must have uh, done the page wrong not uh yeah so that'd be nine and let me do that again so i can tell you yeah so it's nine and a quarter not nine and a half sorry ladies so this is our page two we want a nice border you don't want to go over the page crease here okay so you want to leave about an eighth of an inch gap also do you know what i need to cut the top down as well so take quarter of an inch off your top of your paper again now i've got my teapot lid off now that i didn't want to do in the first place oh well as i say ladies learn by my mistakes so that will fit in there with a nice border all the way around Looks a bit wonky to me. It's better. Okay. So you can add, I am going to add some tape because I'm not going to have enough glue to do all this so um, I'm going to use some double sided tape and it's strong double sided or it says strong on the packet so let's hope Ooh, I can't pull it apart very well so You don't want to go over your edges when you're doing this. If you do, you need to trim them off as close to the edge as possible without going over. Otherwise, if you go over, it'll be hanging out your page. See, I've gone over a bit there. So I'll snip that off. Down the middle. Oh. And again. So you want to burnish those down. Okay, so take your backing off or apply your glue, ladies, if you're using glue. is a light page so I don't mind using tape on this Come on. Uh, 
and I am going to put a little bit of glue in the gaps though I haven't put tape okay so bring your book back make sure you've got it the right way make sure you can see the edge on there. Right, I need to stand up because I can't see my edges. The page does look a bit wonky still but I must have cut my paper on. Okay so that's page two in and now we're going to go to the inside. And we're going to put, now I'm thinking about a closure for this. Do you know, it's not too bad because it's going down. I'm just going to put it in and see how it is. So again, um, put some tape on all the way round without going over your score marks on your flaps. Again, don't go over your score mark. Sorry about the boring bit, ladies, but I haven't got a pause button because I'm recording direct from YouTube. So I don't know why there's no pause button. So I have to keep stopping and starting, so I'm trying not to do that. Right, open up your flaps and burnish down that tape. Make sure it's down properly. A pokey tool, really. This arm is much easier for this sort of thing. So, look at it. You need to craft knives when you've got a standing knife, that's what I say. Grab your glue. Put some glue in your gaps, if you can see them. Not see mine very well. Okay, make sure that's not gonna come up. Oh, 
those strands everywhere. Let's put them on there. Okay, so pick it up. Let your flaps drop. <laughs> Pardon the pun. Hold them up as best you can. This is where magnets would have come in really handy. And you're going to line that up into your book with a nice even space. Top, bottom and this side. And as lined up with the page two as you can get it. Remembering you've got that flap down the bottom that needs a little bit more room. So I'm thinking about there. Okay, open up your flaps. Oh, I'm going to twinkle along there. I will do that. Okay, so that goes up, that goes like that. And there we have our first two pages done. Yeah, uh, definitely need something. I'll probably, I might, I'm gonna think of a way to apply a magnet and make it look pretty. So we will put a magnet on there, ladies. So that's pages one and or the inside cover, and page two. So one and two done. So I'm gonna upload this, load this video and release it so the ladies can watch it because I know some of them are waiting and then I'm going to start pay, uh, part three which will either be available tonight or tomorrow thank you for watching see you soon